us with the 12 o'clock news on the street 919 fm and online facebook and youtube in the headlines potential tropical cyclone moves closer to trinidad and tobago the national petroleum limited tells drivers no need to panic by gas says there is adequate amount for everyone inter-island sailings affected by potential storm and internationally non-essential patrol sales halted for two weeks in Sri Lanka. And now the news in detail. The Met Office has issued an orange level 6 tropical storm warning. The office is warning the public that a potential tropical cyclone continues to move towards TNT and the full effect will be felt at 8 p.m. tonight and continue until 5 p.m. tomorrow. The warning said as of this morning, the center of the cyclone was located about 530 kilometers east of Trinidad. The system is moving towards the west near 23 miles per hour and a westward or west-northwestward motion is expected for the next few days. The system is expected to pass near or over portions of the southern Windward Islands tonight. A tropical storm warning means that storm conditions are likely over the warning area within 36 hours. Meanwhile, the Met Office is advising citizens to prepare to protect lives, livelihood and property and to plan your evacuation to a shelter if it becomes necessary. It added, as always, have emergency supplies of food and water on standby. Secure loose outdoor items and livestock. Have pre-positioned sandbags if your area floods and monitor river levels. Do not wade or drive through flood waters. Meantime, all schools have been ordered closed and several flights cancelled as the tropical storm heads towards Trinidad and Tobago. A bulletin from the Ministry of Education last night said, with the exception of students scheduled to write CAPE exams today, all schools have been directed to be closed. Caribbean Airlines in a statement this morning said, four domestic flights have been cancelled and flights to Suriname, Curacao, St. Martin, Guyana and Barbados have been affected. The Met Office is predicting storm-like conditions within 36 hours with intense thunderstorms and possible flooding. In other news, the National Petroleum Marketing Company Limited NP has assured a continuous supply of liquid fuels, liquefied petroleum gas and jet fuel. The company issued a statement saying there was no need for panic buying at the pumps as contingency plans have been implemented. Dealers, however, have been advised to maximize their storage capacity to mitigate any shortages ahead of the advancing weather system. Motorists have been encouraged to maintain their normal fuel purchasing patterns and avoid panic buying as this will cause fuel shortages at the pump. The statement also noted NP's operations at its Piaco and Crown Point terminal facilities are equipped with an adequate supply of jet fuel with service stations deliveries of all liquid fuel set to continue as scheduled to the extent feasible. LPG plant operations will continue as normal with systems in place to prevent any disruption to supplies. In more news, the Trinidad and Tobago Inter-Island Transportation Company is advising the sailing public that the sailing schedule for today and tomorrow has been amended. For the Galleon's Passage, the 3 p.m. sailing from Port of Spain today and the 6.30 a.m. sailing from Scarborough tomorrow are cancelled. For the Buku Reef, the 8 a.m. sailing from Port of Spain today, that remained as scheduled. However, the 4 p.m. sailing from Scarborough is rescheduled to depart at 12 p.m. instead of 4 p.m. as previously advised. Meanwhile, the APT James 6.30 a.m. sailing from Scarborough remained as scheduled. The Cabo Star 2 p.m. sailing from Port of Spain and the 11 p.m. sailing from Scarborough are cancelled for today. Internationally, Sri Lanka has suspended sales of fuel for non-essential vehicles as it faces its worst economic crisis in decades. For the next two weeks, only buses, trains and vehicles used for medical services and transporting food will be allowed to buy fuel. 
Schools in urban areas have been ordered shut, while officials have told the country's 22 million residents to work from home. The South Asian nation is in talks over a bailout deal as it struggles to pay for imports such as fuel and food. Sri Lanka is the first country to take the drastic step in halting sales of fuel to ordinary people since the 1970s oil crisis when fuel was rationed in the U.S. and Europe and speed limits introduced to reduce demand. The ban underlined the steep rise in oil pricing and limited foreign exchange reserves in Sri Lanka. Many of the island's residents don't know how they will cope with our fuel. There have been long lines at filling stations across Sri Lanka in recent months. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online, Facebook and YouTube, recapping the headlines. Potential tropical cyclone moves closer to Trinidad and Tobago. The National Petroleum Limited tells drivers no need to panic buy gas, says there is adequate amount for everyone. Inter-island sailings affected by potential storm and internationally non-essential patrol sales halted for two weeks in Sri Lanka. Do enjoy your afternoon and please continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas. News from the street. 919FM.com. Buy your belly. I don't understand why well. you can't keep it real with the black man.